Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about implementing half subtractor using demultiplexer in digital electronics course, digital logic design course and switching theory and logic design course. Before going to that video, first of all, we have to know about what is half subtractor, what is the truth table of half subtractor, how to write the Boolean expressions for each and every output of the half subtractor in terms of min terms. After that, we can implement the half subtractor using demultiplexer. So these are the points that we are discussing in this video. Half subtractor is a combinational circuit that is used for performing the subtraction operation between two bits. Suppose I am taking the two bits are 0 and 1. Okay. With two inputs, how many number of possible input combinations we are getting? That is 2 power n number of possible input combinations we are getting. So that is equal to 2 power 2 that is 4 possible input combinations we are getting that are 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1. These are the 4 possible input combination. How to perform the subtraction operation between these 2 bits? So, 1 minus 1. So, that is equal to 0. Next, 1 minus 0. So, that is equal to 1. 0 minus 0. That is equal to 0. 0 minus 1. It is not possible. We can take the borrow. In the case of binary, each borrow is nothing but 2. Now, 2 minus 1. That is equal to 1. Here, we have to write. 1 with borrow 1. Okay. So, these 4 rules we have to use. By using that 4 rules, we have to perform the subtraction operation between these 2 bits. For that purpose, we have to use a combinational circuit called as half subtractor. Okay. Half subtractor is a combinational circuit that is used for performing the subtraction operation between these two bits by using these four rules. Next one. A half subtractor is a combinational circuit that can take two inputs A and B and produce two outputs that is a difference and borrow. Okay. Two inputs and two outputs. Okay. Next one. What is the truth table of half subtractor? We already know that a half subtractor can take two inputs that are A and B. With the two inputs, how many number of possible input combinations we are getting? That is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, one. Next, half subtractor can produce two outputs that is difference and borrow. So these are the two outputs. How to write the difference value for each and every possible input combination? How to write the borrow value for each and every possible input combination? So we have to use these rules. First, a value 0, B value 0, 0 minus 0, so difference value 0, there is no borrow is generated, so that borrow value is also 0. Next one, 0 minus 1, second possible combination 0 and 1, 0 minus 1, we are taking difference value 1 and borrow value is also 1. This is the important point, A value 0, B value 1. We are getting difference value 1 and borrow value 1. Next one, 
third possible input combination 1 0 that is 1 minus 0 so difference value 1 there is no borrow is generated so that borrow value is also 0 next fourth possible input combination 1 1 1 minus 1 that is 0 difference value 0 there is no borrow is generated so that borrow value is 0 so this is the truth table of half subtracted okay so here 0 0 the equivalent decimal value is 0 0 1 the equivalent decimal value is 1 1 0 the equivalent decimal value is 2 1 1 the equivalent decimal value is 3 okay now once we are constructing the truth table of soft subtractor now the difference output can be represented as a sum of min terms and also borrow output can be represented as a sum of min terms okay here for each and every output of the half subtractor so that can be represented as a sum of min terms sigma is a sum small m means min terms okay here we have to write the min term number to write whatever the min term numbers are there first we have to observe the difference output column in that column where the ones are present here one is present the corresponding input combination is a value 0 b value 1 the min term number is 1 so that we have to write min term 1 next here 1 is there the corresponding input combination is a value 1 b value 0 the corresponding min term number is 2 so here there are no other remaining ones are there okay next we have to write the boolean expression for borrow output as a sum of min terms so sigma m of in the borrow column where the ones are present here one is present the corresponding input combination is a value is a 0 b value 1 the min term number is 1 min term number is 1 okay so this is the difference output and borrow output can be represented as a sum of min terms. Okay, next here the Boolean expression is A exclusive or B. Okay, how to get A exclusive or B? So min term 1, so min term 1 is A value 0, B value 1 a value 0 means a bar b value 1 means b so a bar b next min term 2 a value 1 b value 0 a value 1 means a b value 0 means b bar so a bar b plus a b bar so that can be written as a exclusive or b so this is the difference output so for difference output what is the boolean expression we are getting that is equal to a exclusive or b next for borrow output what is the expression we are getting borrow b is equal to only min term 1 min term 1 is nothing but a value 0 and b value 1 a value 0 means a bar and b value 1 means that is b okay so this is the boolean expression for each and every output of half subtracted. This boolean expression can be represented as a sum of min terms. Now we have to implement the half subtractor so by using demultiplexer. Here which type of demultiplexer we have to choose. Okay. Here in the case of half subtractor there are two outputs are there so that is the difference output and borrow output difference output can contain four output values each and every output can be obtained 
from the corresponding possible input combinations. Okay. And here also borrow output can contain four output values. So each output value can be obtained from the corresponding possible input combination. So four outputs are there in difference output and borrow output. Four outputs are present in 1 by 4 D multiplexer. So we have to consider 1 by 4 D multiplexer. Okay. So here implement implement half subtractor half subtractor using 1 by 4 D multiplexer that can be written as 1 by 4 D box. So here I am considering 1 by 4 D multiplexer 1 by 4 D multiplexer can take 1 input and 4 outputs. So 1 input can be represented by I and 4 outputs can be represented by So this is 0, 1, 2, 3. These are the 4 outputs. So hence we can say that this is a 1 by 4 Dmux. So 1 by 4 Dmux can contain 1 input and produce 4 outputs. So that are 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay. So 1 by 4 D multiplexer produce 4 outputs. Among the 4 outputs, at a time only 1 output is selected. How one output is selected among the four outputs by using number of selection lines. How many number of selection lines required to select only one output among the four outputs? So four outputs can be represented as 2 power 2. In the power 2 is there. So therefore number of selection lines Number of selection lines is 2. So that are so S2 and S1. Okay. Or S1, S0. There is no problem at all. S1, S0. So here I am taking two selection lines. That is so S1 and S0. So these are the two selection lines. So, S1, S0 value is 0, 0. The equivalent decimal value is 0. Therefore, first output is selected. S1, S0 value is 0, 1. The equivalent decimal value is 1. Therefore, this output is selected. S1, S0 value is 1, 0. The equivalent decimal value is 2. Therefore, this output is selected. S1, S0 values are 1, 1. The equivalent decimal value is 3. So, therefore, this output is selected. Okay. So, by using these two selection lines, we are selecting only one output. Okay. This entire operation can be done when the enable input E value is equal to 1. This is called as enable input. It can also called as control input. It can control the operation of the 1 by 4 D multiplexer. If E value is equal to 0, the D multiplexer does not perform its operation. If E value is equal to 1, the multiplexer can the D multiplexer can perform the operation. So now how to produce these two outputs by using this 1 by 4 D multiplexer? How to get difference output? The difference output can be obtained by summing the 
main term 1 and main term 2. Main term 1 is nothing but output 1. Main term 2 is nothing but output 2. Okay. So here output 1 and output 2. These two can be added. So then what is the output we are getting? That is difference output we are getting. Okay. So what is this value? This value is A bar B. A bar B. What is this output value? That is A B bar. So A bar B and A B bar. These two inputs can be sent to one or gate. So then we are getting A bar B plus A B bar. That is nothing but A exclusive R B. Okay. Next one. Borrow output can be obtained by using only output 1. Okay. Now I am taking by using this output. We are getting borrow output. So this is borrow output. So what is this value? This value is A bar B. By using only output 1, we are getting the borrow output. By using the outputs 1 and 2, we are getting the difference output. So, by using 1 by 4 demultiplexer, we are getting the two outputs of the half subtractor. That is the difference output and the borrow output. Hence, we can say that we are implementing the half subtractor by using 1 by 4 demultiplexer. Okay. So, as the name implies, 1 by 4 demultiplexer can take one input and produce four outputs. Among the four outputs, at a time, only one output is selected. So, to select that one output, how many number of selection input lines required by using this one? Four outputs can be represented as 2 power 2. So, in the power 2 is there, therefore, two selection lines required that is S1 and S0. Based on the values of S1 and S0 value, we can select only one output among the four outputs. Okay. So, we have to generate the difference output and borrow output by using 1 by 4 demultiplexer. So, difference output can be obtained by using the outputs 1 and 2. These two outputs can be sent to one R gate. Then we are getting the difference output. The equation for difference output is A exclusive R B. That means A bar B plus A B bar. Next one. How we are getting the borrow output? Borrow output can be obtained by using only min term 1. Min term 1 is nothing but A bar B. Okay. So, in this way, we have to implement the half subtractor by using 1 by 4 D multiplexer. Okay. So, I hope all of you understanding this uh, video. If you really understanding this video, click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates. If you really like this video, please subscribe my YouTube channel. So, Divela Srinivasara. After subscribing my YouTube channel, click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. After, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.